Today is World Health Day. Health and wellness is kind of my middle name because for me it is the foundation of everything in our lives. If we don't have our health and wellness then the simplicity of it is that we live a life of existence rather than living fully to the max and really enjoying everything that we're all about. And when you don't feel great, you don't feel great, do you? You haven't got the energy to do things, you haven't got the energy to go out there, maybe it affects your work, maybe it affects you actually going and enjoying things that you've arranged. Maybe it's something that you've become so used to that you don't even think about what the alternatives are. The key to all of this though is is really listening to your body. And one of the things that I have really honed over 20 years of really understanding my body is that I have to really listen to it. And it gives me clues constantly when the stuff not going right. For example, I had issues with my skin for a really long time. And I spent literally thousands of pounds on products, on facials, on all sorts of different things and just couldn't get to the bottom of what was going on with my skin. The reality was I was doing everything externally. I wasn't really looking at what was going on inside of me because at that point I hadn't really discovered the importance of what was really going on inside. What I want to share with you today are a few key tips that you can follow, things that you can change today that are gonna help you to truly transform your health step by step. And I think that's the key here is it's gotta be step by step because sometimes what we can do is we can decide that we're gonna make these changes and we can attempt to climb Everest on day one when really what you need to do is go out for a gentle walk rather than trying to scale the highest thing because all the problem the, the problems that happen when you try to scale the biggest thing first is you end up setting yourself up for a fall. Somebody told me the other day, who I know hasn't done any detoxing ever, that they're going to go straight into a 90 day detox. And I just kind of was like, oh, wow, I'm not a negative person, but I really don't think he's setting yourself up to succeed. Because actually, you've got a lot of crap in your body, you've got a lot of stuff in your body that is going to trigger you into falling off that wagon. Whereas if you start gentle, then you've got a much better chance of really succeeding. So let's start with the first thing. The first thing for you to really get right when it comes to your health and well-being is water. <coughs> now, you say water. There are so many different waters out there. In fact, millions of bottles of water are sold every single day. The thing is though, what type of water is it? It can be spring water, it can be natural water, but the water that I found that really changed my life is alkaline water. Now underneath this video, there's gonna be lots of different links to all of the things that I'm sharing with you that I think are really, really key. And water is a huge one. Not just what you drink, but also what you shower in, what you put on your body, because the biggest organ on your body is your skin. And if you're putting toxic water with crap, fluoride, all that kind of stuff all over your body every single day when you wash, the chances are you're not really giving your body the best chance when it comes to water. In the 12 years that I've been drinking alkaline water and showering in alkaline water, I haven't been ill. In fact, I actually couldn't tell you the last time I was ill. I've had a few days where energetically, because I've been detoxing, my body has just kind of said to me, Claire, we need to rest today. So I have actually just chilled out and maybe sat in bed for the day. And that's happened maybe three or four times over the last 11 years. But that's because my body spoke to me and it said, I need this. And I listened to it. So I gave it what it was asking for. Water is absolutely critical. You can do things like solarize your water. I have blue glass bottles and I fill my bottles with my alkaline water and then I put them on the windowsill and then I put them in the sun and the sun cleans it, which is an amazing thing to do. Water, get the water right. Once you get the water right, one of the next things for you to do 
is look at your gut health. Look at your bowel. What is going on? Now, I love to talk about poo. I think it's just the most amazing thing to talk about because actually when your gut health is really, really amazing, then your overall general health is on another level. I was literally just reading before I started this video an article that I received this morning, which is, is now basically proving that there are links with Parkinson's and brain disorders to gut health and toxins in the system. And they are actually talking about how the microbiome in your bowel, which is what keeps your bowel functioning really, really beautifully. When that is out of balance and when that is out of kilter, then basically you are susceptible to so many different illnesses and so many different diseases. And why is that? Because when it's not functioning properly, your bowel gets leaky. And then it's leaking all those toxins, shit, basically into the whole of your body. So let me ask you, how often do you clean your bowel? Because cleaning your bowel is so important. And the greatest analogy that I can use for this is many years ago, when I started doing this, the, um, the lady that I saw for my, um, my colon therapy basically said to me, do you have a wash every single day? And I was like, well, yeah. And she said, well, not cleaning your bowel is like not having a wash for 30 years. And I was kind of like, oh, and getting a bit graphic, the first time I had this done, I actually couldn't comprehend what came out of me. I'm somebody that's always been very regular with going to the toilet. However, I have had issues. I was diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome many, many years ago that I completely dealt with by changing my food and by looking after my bowel and supporting it in the way that I need to. Again, I'm gonna pop a link below this video for an amazing, amazing product that you can use to support the microbiome in your bowel that I've been using for about 10 months now. And it is just amazing bowel health it's the underpin of everything and for many years I always say that everybody's shit stinks and it was something that I got told that I was quite crude for saying the reality is now because I don't eat meat and fish in my diet anymore and I've pretty much eliminated dairy if I fancy something I eat it but can I tell you something if I do eat those things my poo really smells now what does that tell you it tells you a lot Next thing then is talking about toxicity in the system. Now, this is something that's relatively new to me and I've studied natural health for a really, really long time. But toxicity in the system causes so many issues. In fact, there are reports and there are papers that really now talk about the fact that toxicity in the system actually causes pretty much every disease and ailment that any of us suffer with. Because when your system is toxic, it's like anything, it's very difficult for wellness to thrive in that environment. Think about a river. Think about when rivers get contaminated by accident by water companies. What does it do to the life in the river? It kills it. And then what happens is it takes a long time for that then to get repaired. So what I want you to think about is what toxicity do you have in your system? Because we live in an environment where we've got a lot of metal toxicity around us, vaccinations, medications, various different things we've put into our bodies over the years. The environment that we live in, I live on quite a busy road. You can possibly hear the traffic in the background here. And all of that means that that toxicity is going into our system. Well, what happens is it coats the cells. It coats the cells and it actually stops you from absorbing all the good stuff that you're putting in. So maybe you're watching this and you're saying, well, Claire, you know, I take my vitamins and I do this and I do that. Well, that's great. I'm really pleased that you do that. Now, my next question is, do you have really yellow wee? Because if you do, what happens is when your body's unable to absorb what you're putting in it, you just pee it straight out again. So it may be that you think you're doing the best for your body, but you actually may have really expensive wee. And that's not serving you. That's not good for you because obviously you want to make sure that your body is absorbing all of that. Toxicity in the system causes an inordinate amount of issues. I ended up with carpal tunnel syndrome from repetitive strain. And carpal tunnel, basically, if you don't know what it is, is the furring of the artery in the hand here. And it means that you get numbness and tingling in your hands. Now, 
Last February, it was so bad for me that I was waking up with clawed, frozen hands. And it was the only thing that really my, wasn't functioning well in my body. And basically, I decided to go on a journey of, of removing the toxins from my body and see what happened. Now, not only have I virtually cured that and very rarely ever wake up even with numb hands anymore, let alone frozen clawed hands, my skin is absolutely amazing. My whole body feels amazing. I'm thinking clearer, I'm thinking better, I've got more energy. That comes down to a couple of other products that I take as well, which I'll share some details about. But the fact of the matter is here, whichever way you wanna look at this, your wellness and your health is the most valuable thing in your life. In fact, you are the only thing in your life that is irreplaceable. And a few weeks ago, I was talking to somebody and we were talking about how so many people neglect this area and so many people talk about money and how much money they're making and all these different things. Well, let me ask you, do you wanna be the oldest person in the graveyard or the richest person in the graveyard? And the richest, youngest person in the graveyard? Because tomorrow is something that's not guaranteed to any of us tomorrow is something that nobody on this planet can guarantee in fact we can't even guarantee the next five minutes but what i can tell you is that if you look after your body and if you really look after who you are inside and out and not only the food that you put in but your attitude, your mindset, your heart set, dealing with your traumas, healing the things that trigger with you, trigger you. When you deal with all of that, then life becomes a very, very different thing. Why am I like this? Because I lost my own mother six years ago to a really, really awful short illness with cancer. And I watched what happened to her and a lot of it was down to how she lived her life, what she put into her body. She didn't eat junk food, but she never cleared her toxins out. She never cleared her bowel out. She had a lot of emotional stuff. And so what I do know is that I experienced that with her for a reason. And I experienced it so that now I can come to you and I can say, you can do something really different. You can do something that is gonna support you in every way possible. Now, I'm not a doctor. I don't have any qualifications. I don't have any certificates on any of this. What I have is first-hand experience. And then what I did to ensure that I could give you the expert knowledge is I surrounded myself with all the people that do have those certificates, that do have all of that knowledge, that do have all of that in-depth that I don't have. My role is as a messenger and it's to bring this information to you so I can help you and guide you. Because the key to living an amazing life is by clearing all of the stuff that sabotages you out. I hope you've learned something today and I hope you found my video interesting. If you did, then like and share and please take some action, even if it's only on one of the things that I've mentioned because everything that you do is gonna impact on you in a really positive way. So remember, being you is all you ever came here to be, but living that in the most wonderfully well way is the elixir of life. I'll catch you really soon.